Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. I'm updating you guys on my nightmare on panning street. So this is the second update. Uh, yeah, second update of this project already. And I have some changes. So we're just going to go ahead and talk about those right now. Um, so before I begin, just make sure that you check out Jaylan and Valerie. So Valerie is on Instagram and Jaylan I think is on Instagram and YouTube and I have them all linked down below and all the information. I have pre-selected prompts so that it was really quick. Also, I have to film on my phone right now so my um chooser real thingy majiggy is on my phone and <laughs> so i just pre-selected before i got started so let's just go ahead and talk about the first item which is the fright night it's either red or vampire themed and for that i selected the mac victoriana lipstick and yeah it's in the shade victoriana so this is how much i have left it was at 20 grams when i started my goal is to complete this one and i still have a lot left it's still 20 grams but it has gone down quite a bit so i'm looking forward to get that moving out of the collection honestly um it's a beautiful shade i was wearing it earlier today and i've switched to another one because you guys know i'm trying to get usage of a lot of lipsticks so yeah i've just decided to switch out for this video um but that one will hopefully be completed by well probably not right away honestly it's a red lipstick so it probably will be here for a little bit uh the next one is the strangers and that was a, pro a product that is no longer welcome in my collection and that is so very true because i will be saying goodbye to this palette as of today so this is the Lorac unzipped palette and unfortunately it's just dried out you can see there's bumps on a lot of the product which to me tells me it's gone bad and um yeah it just that to me that's like mold if there's like a bunch of bumps and stuff on there to me that is a mold starting or the product has separated and it doesn't perform very well and I just don't feel comfortable putting it on my eyes. Also, the shade right here, every time I use it, is breaking off more and more. So there's no point in me hanging on to this. It is going to be leaving my collection. So that one is decluttered. The next is Friday the 13th, which is a summer themed one. And that is my Violet Voss eyeshadow palette in Sakura Blossom. And it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful palette. I think it's gorgeous, but I haven't used it at all yet because this is more, I think, geared toward like spring for me. So I will be focusing on a few different other eyeshadow palettes and then going back into that one. Um, the Lorac one I used uh, eight times and my glow was 15, but I'm just not comfortable using it anymore. And I haven't used the Violet Voss Sakura one at all yet. So um, I think I just realized that for me, I focus on one thing and I try and get that goal met and then I will uh, focus on another thing and then I'll get that goal met. And it's hard for me to bounce around for through so many eyeshadow palettes when I feel like I have to reach my goals. So I'm not even touching this one yet, but this might be one that I grab toward in the next week or two. The next one is Night of the Living Dead, which is an item that wakes up your skin. And for that one, I have selected my uh, the Inky List Caffeine Eye Treatment. You can use this in the AM and the PM. Um, my goal was to use this both morning and evening, but it's, I either use it one or the other. And so I'm hoping to have a lot of usage on this um, soon. I can't tell where I'm at because there's a bunch of air in here, but I can't even, like I'm putting it up toward the light and I, I can barely even tell how much I have in this. Um, so this one was at 15 when I started. It went down to 14 grams um, on the last update and apparently we're down to 11 grams. I don't know how accurate that is, but that's what it's saying. So maybe I'm getting extra usage or maybe my calculator is wrong or not calculator, but my scale is wrong. So I'm not sure. Um, the next one is the Blair Witch Project, which is something black. And for that, I chose my Urban Decay Eye Pencil in the shade Legend. And the goal is to use this 20 times and I've used this 13 times so far. So I still have seven uses left and it's a really, really nice, really dark black pencil. Um, I just sharpened it today because I went and used it all the way down till it was uncomfortable to use. 
Um, really, really nice pencil, but most of my eye pencils are getting old. So I realize I only need like one per year or maybe two if I get like a black and a brown or something. But I don't have a lot of fun colors. I have a few, but it's just, it doesn't make sense for me to have a whole selection of them when I rarely use eyeliner like that. Um, the next is Scream, which is Screams with Delight. So something that makes you scream with delight, makes you excited. Um, for that one, I chose my Halloween Singles eyeshadow palette. This one I used for the entire month of October. And I also use this a lot in the month of December and November. And I met my goal. It was a goal of 15 uses. So this one will be putting, getting put back in. Like all these will be dismantled into their regular original palette or yeah, palettes. And so this one is um, a gold met, which is great. The next one is Rosemary's Baby, which is a new item. And for that, I selected my MAC Botanic Panic eyeshadow palette. I haven't used this one yet at all. Um, but the goal is 15 uses. So I have to still grab toward this one. But again, this one is one that I think will be nice in the springtime. So we'll just have to wait until <laughs> that point, I think, until like I get some of these out and I can start grabbing toward it. Um, the next is Frankenstein, which is a Franken product. And I only had one Franken product at the time, which was this one. And I decided that I was going to use this up completely. And I haven't even used it at all yet. And it's really pretty. So I didn't use it up at all. I didn't, I haven't used it at all once, not even once. So I need to start grabbing towards certain things because I'm focusing on so many specific things that I need to start using more other stuff. And I think I said that in my last video as well. The next one is The Thing, which is not sure how to use. And for that one, I selected the Pixie Rose Glow Mist. I was like somewhere down here, I think my last update, I can't remember because I forgot to mark it, but that's where I started. And now I'm all the way um, down to here where where is it so it's right underneath this set of lines is where um, the product is sitting right now so I did really well with this I probably just have one more month of use of this and then I'll get it out of the collection which is really great and I actually spray it on my face after a shower and all over my body if I don't feel like putting a lot of lotion I'll just spray that and I'll have a little bit of an oil to my skin which helps with the dryness because it's super dry right now so that won't last very long. Um, the next one is Halloween, which is sheet masks. And for those, I chose these three and I've completed them all. This one still has some of the goopy like product on it or in it. And so I'm going to be using that up tonight because I don't like to waste if there's still stuff in there. These ones I used up completely. So those two are for sure like completes. And this one's a complete as well because I actually use the mask, but I haven't finish the stuff that's inside it. I'm just not going to check it until I'm done that. So these ones I will save for my empties and that one I'm just going to use up whatever is left in there. But that one is another completed product. So two completed and one decluttered. The next is Child's Play, which is a childlike or theme packaging, theme or packaging of product. And this one I chose the Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush flawless finish and this is in the shade one fair and I chose it because it's like so little and tiny it could be doll makeup so yeah it's just like that I still have lots left I'm barely reaching for it because it's so cute <laughs> but I should just be finishing it off and the next one is Christine which is a special trip to buy the product so like you went somewhere specially just to get that product and it was a, like a ways away and for this one, I selected my Laura Geller Peach Glow Highlighter. And um, my family and I, we usually travel to the States, <clears throat> somewhere in North Dakota, either Grand Forks or Fargo usually in the summer. I haven't been in a while because, of course, the pandemic. But um, usually when we would go, I would travel specifically for stuff at Ulta that I couldn't get in Canada. And I, sp I bought this specifically because Laura Geller wasn't sold in Canada. So I bought this Peach Glow highlighter. And for this one, I decided to use it 15 times. And I have used it six times, no, seven times, pardon me, seven times. So I still have eight more uses, which I it shouldn't be too, too hard. But I'm currently panning uh, or like using my MAC highlighter palette right now for a different project that ends a lot sooner than this one so yeah <laughs> trying to focus on that one a little bit more 
And the next one is The Conjuring, which is don't know what possessed you to buy this, which was my Morphe and Maddie Ziegler eyeshadow palette. And I'm actually happy I did get this in the long run, like in the grand scheme of things. I'm really happy I purchased it because I do like the palette and the pops of colors. And for this one, it's a 15 use goal and I've currently used it four times. So I need to start reaching for this one a bit more as well. And the next is, oh, this is all like I've chose 13 items. So that's my 13 items. So now I'm going to show you guys what I'm bringing in and which prompts. So I also got the thing again, which is not sure how to use. So for that, I decided to use this product from a French brand. It's called Sterile Cosmetics. And it comes in a little package like this. There's mostly French everywhere on the, pa the packaging. So that's why I'm assuming um, also the, the name and everything is in French. So it's from, it's called uh, Othermal, where is it? Othermal Avene. And it says, oh, you know what? I'm not even going to go there. It says Soothing Skin Recovery Cream. I didn't realize that was in English. My French is so bad. I haven't spoken French in years and years. Um, and I was never fluent. So <laughs> uh, it says for reactive skin. So if you have dry skin or sensitive skin or whatever, this is really good for you. And it says to apply it morning and night. But I don't know, do I apply it as a moisturizer or before anything else? Like, so I'm kind of like got to figure out how to use this. Um, I'm assuming that I could probably use this in place of a moisturizer but anyhow I'll figure that all out <laughs> I'm not sure how to use it so that works perfectly and then that one is too complete because it's just a small one and the next is Dracula which is something that sucks the life out of you and I'm definitely putting this back in this is the Elise Watche bronzer in Havana I love this product so much it's beautiful it's probably the most gorgeous bronzer I have ever laid eyes on but I never ever use it. It's it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's like a, a neutral with a hint of warmth to it. It's just beautiful and it's got this nice luminizing glow and I try to use it and I put it in projects and I try to get use of this but it just never ever ever goes away and I'm just like it's bulky and it's taking up room and it's I don't know there's just a lot going on with this. I'm tired of trying to store it so it's sucking the life out of me basically <laughs> so I'm going to do a 10 use goal on this bronzer and the last one I got Fright Night again which is a red or vampire themed product and for that I chose my MAC lip liner in the shade cherry and this one is just your typical like cherry red shade so I'm going to use that in conjunction with this one it should go really well together I need to get some things moved out of my collection so that's the whole update you guys I hope you enjoyed this this is a lot of different products I have a lot of things going on and I need to start getting my uses on all the things so I will update you next month and let you know how that goes but thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it and I hope you have a wonderful wonderful day Bye, everybody. Oh, and Happy New Year.